That's not roommates. that's not helpful at all, Raz. They're, they're roommates. <laughs> Be Beef and Chris. Did if they Wait, if Chris, they didn't Chris sleep, came from. British? No, he's saying they were in the same. Okay, I got. Uh, like here, but if they didn't sleep in the same bed, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> All right, we're discussing the the housing situation of the players. It seems like they've been really warming up against each other, staying in the same room. Andy, you'd be shocked if anyone broke the top five. The top, I mean, the top five is strong, but uh, Hammerheart hasn't played much lately. Um, oh, he's, he's been grinding online. Don't do not count out uh, Hammerheart. That's true. He no, has I'm switched not back to uh, to Kirby. I think he has probably the the highest the the, the lowest floor, but you know the same ceiling as a lot of the top players, right? Like, Hammerheart could win it. I think it's a tough tough path, but he could win the whole tournament. Ooh. But I I also think that maybe like a Raychu or, a, you know, Chris Kringle could really give him a tough time. Yeah, well, let's see if Chris Kringle can overcome the obstacle he's got here. I don't think that fair is the right tool to combo against Kirby there. So this probably needs more attention than it's been getting. Beef is playing Kirby. Um, I want to say that we have not seen the Beef Kirby in singles before. I haven't. Um, so he ground out, yeah, he, he ground out the Kirby a bit for uh, doubles. For doubles, and why not and just pull it out against Falcon? Yeah, he was, uh, yeah, he was um, talking to me yesterday and talking about how he, you know, was using Kirby in doubles, but he might try it for Falcon in singles because I was I played to be Falcon. working so far. Yeah, and his Kirby looks professional. I love that Nair he he just landed, <laughs> and he's got that side platform movement, that tricky movement. Doubles yesterday was a triple elimination bracket. So if you were <laughs> playing in doubles, you got a ton of practice. You probably go into it having never played Kirby before. Wow, and come out Great as an expert. Raw F smash and neutral from Chris Kringle to take that first stock. And you know, I would never advocate switching off the the solo main, especially for Pika. But I, you know, I did tell tell Beef his Kirby was legitimate, and and we're seeing it right now. It looks quite strong. Everything you'd expect the from low a angled forward tilt. The fair on shield is a low angled forward tilt, but Chris oh, Kringle turns it around. Rough reversal. As Kirby, you don't necessarily need to go out that far for the edge guard, um, and the the risk is very very high. The reward is quite little. Yeah, nice mix up there on the recovery from Chris. Beef, maybe getting a little antsy, just hard reads with the F smash, and Chris now gets this combo opportunity. Yeah, I think we might be seeing uh, a piece that might still be lacking from Beef's Kirby game, you know, seeing as it's his first game with it. Uh, the the edge guarding game is not there yet. Yeah. It is tough. You're not Pika. You, yeah. Oh, he, he jabs. He meant to down tilt for sure. Yeah. He's doing that classic falling there to down tilt. But just misses the execution, and a game that started looking so good for Beef, Chris is suddenly coming back. Yeah. Beef's got to maintain his confidence because again, this this has mostly been in his favor. Just a few uh, mistakes on the edge guarding that's really cost him. Does not need to go out that far, but I guess it was good to threaten, keep him back, makes it back on stage. Oh, great. Gets him onto the plat. This is exactly what Chris wants. Doesn't get that yeah, ball Yeah, I think he missed there. a Z-cancel there. That combo could have been the stock all on its own. I think he was just too close to the platform. Uh, the up air was going to end regardless. And Beef gets that strong reverse back air. Probably not what he wanted because it means he can't combo anymore. And both these guys just great looking for any hit. Tilt. Finds the up tilt. Weak Nair. Oh, this could be it right here. Beef absolutely needs to clean this up. Yeah. And then... I'd and say Beef I, finally say finds it with a bear. What a everything close game. Beef could have asked for and more from his Kirby debut. Um, you know, a couple missed edge guards, but outside of that, he looked fairly dominant in the neutral game, and that's going to be the hardest part for for Kirby, I think. And Beef standing up and walking away from the setup. Uh, he's done that a few times. Uh, I think it really helps to clear his head. I don't blame him at all. That was clearly a very stressful game for both those guys. Um, I don't know if I, I don't know if this for sure, but I think um, Beef historically has played under the influence, and I, I, but I think recently he's uh, started playing sober. And Beef, he, he did at one that's point. That's funny. And I wonder, you know, because like that's the way a lot of players clear their head, right? Oh yeah, um, you know how many players go away for a like a smoke break or whatever um, to to help themselves after a set. I yeah, think uh, for Beef, sure. Beef is a player that definitely needs a 
to kind of send out some of that stress out. And I think maybe getting up, a little breathing. I think that could be good for a lot more players. You know. And so Beef sticking with the Kirby going into game two, which is really not what I expected. I thought he would go Pika during Chris's counter pick yeah. and then switch. Again, um, but maybe he figures the crucial game is going to be game three and he wants to be ready with the Kirby. Just have as much warm up as possible. That or first maybe game, he thinks he can win this. I think that first game was not nearly as close as it, uh, as it appeared. And maybe Chris recognized that. Or he could just not want to play that matchup. I think a lot of Falcons just don't feel it's too difficult. No, no. I think it makes perfect sense for Chris to switch here. Yeah. I'm surprised Beef stayed with Kirby going into game two. Oh, he just he doesn't like Pika Falcon. I think that's what it comes down to. Yeah. But yeah, I think you're right. But I this is not typically a matchup you want to play as Kirby if you're not a Kirby main. I mean, right. it's yeah. very much not a matchup you I, want to play if I, you I are think, a Kirby I main. I think it's but, always you know. better to opt for um, your main, even if it's a counter pick, versus having your counter your secondary get counter picked. Yeah, but uh, he's not looking too bad so far. It's really Quick expert movement. combo there. The weak bear to F smash, and Chris Kringle just barely messes up the angle. And you know, sometimes when you're learn, you know, picking up a new character like this, you want to kind of learn what you're going to get counterpicked as, also. So yeah, I have to say though, Beef, despite the fact that we've been talking about this as a new character, his Kirby is looking quite professional. He's got, you know, these kind of nares yeah. in neutral. The, you the know, movement to side platform. Good he recoveries. said he's been grinding, and I we know Beef doesn't half-ass his grinding. So yeah, for sure. Very clearly putting in the effort. Yeah, this is not some throwaway secondary. Beef is Beef is here to play Kirby for sure. And Chris messes up that up B, lets him back. He's going to regret this so much if Beef is able to find an up tilt. I'm sure that's what he's looking for, even though he's in oh, the air. Great. Yeah, finds the fair. Uh, I don't know how he could have finished that punish. Yeah, the, the nair was a little weird. I wonder if he wanted a different aerial. But still, it's extra percent. Yeah, look at all this. More tech chasing up into an up tilt. I think the up tilt was a somewhat strange choice uh, with the percentage. But still, beef building so much that he and really shouldn't have gotten kill. it all. <laughs> Very rare. Beef just kind of hanging out on top plat. It's yeah. usually where these two characters, I feel like, uh, like to fight each other. Yeah, I'm a big fan of playing on top platform as Pikachu. And of course, if Pika's going to do that, you might as well take it first as Kirby, right? Yeah. I, I very much am a uh, ground. I like playing Kirby on the ground. But it's not ideal for most people. Oh, he gives them. Yeah, we know. We know. Uh, yeah, the uh, Raz was saying Beef picked up Kirby a week ago. Yeah, yeah. it's a uh, very impressive. Finds that edge guard with a downer. Beef's Kirby really looking quite good, despite maybe that relative inexperience. Chris uh, so far not able to deal with it. Finds this big combo. Goes for a second air, which is stale, but still has too much knockback for him to get any more. Oh, they tries both for, Yeah, they both miss. He tries to pivot up tilt. And Beef misses the up tilt as well. Wow, incredible. This is so tense. An interesting up smash. I don't know what he was going for there. Beef oh. just chilling out. He loves that top Not being pie. too aggressive. Chases him down. And wow, look I at this. Fares again. Oh He's almost goodness. lost stage. Oh, no, he doesn't get the grab. You know that's what he wanted. You see him react. And Beef I think heartbroken. We see why Beef is playing on the plats. He's treating it like Pika. He's going for these combos to carry Pika off stage from the platforms. Yeah, I Very love it. That rare. combo is so cool. And but now Chris it's Chris Pickle's turn. Thing. Opens up with three nares, but can't find more. And great wow. adjustment from Kringle. Kringle just finds it with four nares in a row to take it. And so while we see that Beef is very comfortable playing on the plats regardless of the character, I think maybe he needs to get away from that because Kringle's combos were quite strong. But so, so what characters do we see in game three? Where, where does Chris go? I think Chris goes back to Falcon. Back to Falcon? Do you really want a Pika Ditto Beef? It sounds rough. Yeah. It sounds rough for sure. That's This is where it gets tricky. 
And so this might be where the advantage of playing Kirby in that second game comes from. His Kirby yep. is now very warm after yep. playing it two games in a row. Yep. Yeah, he forced him back into uh, Kirby Falcon. Beef, uh, I would say probably getting what he wanted. I don't know if he would have preferred the Pika Ditto after playing two games of Kirby. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure Chris would have preferred to win that second game yeah. and seal it up 2-0. But this is what I was talking about at the beginning of game one, that he might want to keep that Kirby warm, figuring that the crucial game will be game three. And As now he's used to the Kirby, but dash attack by mistake. Chris finds this big combo opportunity. Yeah, that's one thing that uh, people don't talk about a lot. There's one thing like playing the same character for all three games, but there's another thing to be said about playing against the same character that's all three true, games. That's true, that's true. And I kind of think Chris is, gets, is favored in this third game. Just He's playing his main, and he's played against the same character every game. Yeah, um, finds this early down air, but great patience from Chris using his jumps. Not getting too aggressive. I love these recoveries from Chris. Great up tilt. Something Gets that's not easy to pick up is Kirby. So I like that. Um, instead of going for the F-Smash, Beef went for the... Oh, he falls with the Nair facing the wrong way. And they both made it make back. it back. Absolutely unreal. Yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> Talking kick to get out of the corner. Oh. Pivot up tilt in neutral, but you can't really get anything off that. Yeah. Uh, he's, Beef's really loving these pivot up tilts. I feel like he's getting a lot of mileage from uh, it. Who doesn't love pivot up tilt? <laughs> Beef, keeping it even, showing off his great movement here. It's a weird percent for uh, Falcon against Kirby. I don't know the what punishes attack. he gets. Yeah, this is the sort of thing that can really uh, test the skills of a Falcon player. And because that's it. finding an opportunity, yeah, just runs in with the down air. It's a great. Immediately converts into the nair, but Beef all over him starts it off with just a I weak nair. And that's going to be the entire stock. I was going to say, I think he might have ended that punish early, but he knew what Chris Kringle was going to follow up with. He was all over him. Beef converts the smallest hit into a kill. Chris not able Back to do though. the same. Misses that tech chase by Pixels. Oh, that was a great rollout from Chris Kringle. I think if he rolls in, he's surely dead. Yeah, nice DI. Gets another chance with more DI. Beef, but Beef turns this around. Is yeah, that Beast punish game three looking straight. perfect. Wow, and uh, yeah. he's so fast. Look at him move. That's so intimidating because Kirby, you know, the one saving grace when you're playing against him is he's a slow character, right? Yeah, at least he should be predictable, right? And Just then stand there and up tilt, but instead, no. See Look this? at him go. <laughs> like, what the hell is this? All over the stage. Down air into a tech chase. Very Just nice. Just goes straight in the up E, knows it'll kill, and we're going to see last stock game Nearly three. Dead even. Beef goes for that fastball in air, doesn't find anything off his own invincibility. And unlike, uh, unlike with the uh, Pika Falcon matchup, I think having uh, Falcon at a little higher percent isn't necessarily beneficial. Most of Kirby's uh, neutral winners against Falcon, I feel like, have a decent amount of hits done. You know, especially the up tilt. Falcon, he just waits. Runs in. Oh, no, he did he not fair? Want fair. Great reaction from Beef. We saw the same thing in game one, those accidental fares, and he dash attacks. Oh, this is uh, running away from Kringle very quickly. He's got to clean up yeah, his Yeah, he execution. doesn't want the percent to just get built up like this. Great he needs read an from opening. Beef. I love he... that reverse bear too, and he calls him out, oh, wow. Beef! Great job from Beef. He knew that Kringle was going to roll from the ledge, so he positioned himself perfectly to get the new, to get the punish, knock him off stage. Beef's Kirby. I, I can't advocate wow. it, but he, man, his Kirby is good. Yeah, his Kirby was great. Yeah. That is not the Kirby you expect when you hear someone just pull Brad out the Kirby. That, uh, a week ago, yeah. A week ago, and I was like, that's about how much time you need to play Kirby. To learn not Kirby. like that. I not don't like know. That. His Kirby I played his great. Kirby uh, uh, yesterday, and I was like, oh, I can, you know, it's just a Kirby secondary. I can do Falcon stuff, and he's a scary no. man. I was like, what the heck? He's so fast. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna start the uh, the wild card. The DC wild card matches. Oh, that's okay. Be fun. So, match is be do you know whose water this is? It's not yours. Okay. Uh, all right. So, anyone who's sitting here watching the victory screen, we are going to have the D2 wild card. This basically takes all the fourth seed, fifth seeds. Okay. 
Yeah, so four make it out from D2 into D1 from each pool. And fifth place in each of those gets sent to a single elimination bracket.